Hello, and welcome back to the PP Zone. This is your host, Mike, and today I will be talking about why the U.S. military retired the Beretta M9. The Beretta M9, the military version of the Beretta 92FS, has been retired by the U.S. military. While some are happy to see the Beretta M9 handgun go, others are unsure whether it would be worthwhile to spend the money and time purchasing a replacement. The Beretta 92FS semi-automatic pistol used by the United States Armed Forces is known as the Beretta M9, and was officially known as the pistol, semi-automatic, 9mm, or plainly the M9. In 1985, the U.S. military decided to use the M9 as their standard service pistol. The M9 pistol served as the main side weapon of the U.S. Army, Marine Corps, Navy, and Air Force. In 1985, Beretta was chosen to manufacture the M9 after a contentious competition, winning a contract for 500,000 pistols. A requirement of the original agreement was that the M9 be manufactured domestically. In 2019, the 9mm version of the Sig Sauer P320 was selected to replace the M9 throughout the U.S. Armed Forces. The Sig Sauer M17 and M18 pistols are now being distributed to personnel across the U.S. military in numbers of at least 200,000. Sig won the 2017 XM17 modular handgun competition to replace the Beretta M9 with their P320. The size and weight of the Beretta have drawn criticism. They believe the M9 could not be adjusted to fit various hand sizes. It might also be prone to breakdowns. Sometimes we lose sight of the M9's origins and the fact that it was created because the M1911 was becoming obsolete. Only seven or eight rounds can fit inside. The Beretta M9 stepped in at that point. It uses the NATO standard 9mm round for firing. It features a magazine with 15 rounds, and some people think it recoils less than the M1911 does. The history of the Beretta M9 is provided along with an explanation of why, after years of devoted service, the U.S. military chose to walk a different path. A Brief History of the M9 Beretta Italian designers wanted to improve upon the Beretta 92. Thus, they created the M9 as a military version of the Beretta 92FS. The influential and top-selling Beretta Model 1951 Brigadier, created after World War II, served as the foundation for the original 92. Along with the Brazilian military, Italian Special Operations Units received the 92FS in 1975. The Joint Services Small Arms Program, a new handgun competition, was being tested by Americans in 1978. This was intended as a replacement for the venerable M1911. Heckler & Koch, Fabrique Nationale, Walther, and Smith & Wesson were among the rival brands. Colt even received a second chance to triumph. The DoD requested a quality grip, a simple magazine release, and an ambidextrous safety. The Years of Trials In the first test conducted by the Air Force, the Beretta 92FS survived the opposition. However, the Army disputed the Air Force's conclusions and cited issues with the test results in its argument. The Navy bought the Beretta without having any issues with the Air Force's testing. The United States Armed Forces battle-proven but severely worn M1911 45 caliber service handguns were replaced with the M9 in particular. However, the Army remained unfazed and demanded a second trial in 1983. This encountered issues as well necessitating a further test in 1984 between the Sig Sauer P226 and the Beretta 92 SB4. Beretta by this time had improved the 92FS. Because of its lower cost, the Beretta 92 SB4 triumphed and was given the new name Beretta M9. However, the M9 proved to be a tough weapon after withstanding tests in salt water, extremely cold temperatures, drops, and mud and snow burials. The military quickly placed an order for more than 315,000 firearms for about $75 million. To cut a long story short, Beretta defeated Sig, Smith & Wesson, HK, Walther, Stair, and FN in the 1984 handgun trials, which involved demanding tests for accuracy, dependability, and durability to become the recognized sidearm of the United States military. 
The Beretta 92 or M9 served in this capacity for 33 years and participated in action in Panama, Iraq, and Afghanistan. Since American gun manufacturing business did not win, using an Italian manufacturer caused considerable controversy. Yet, the Beretta M9 was produced in a U.S. factory in Akakik, Maryland, as part of the original agreement when Beretta was awarded the first contract. The M9 has a double-action, single-action system that fires quickly. Rounds eject with ease from the open slide's exposed barrel. With all of this favorable publicity, the M9 just appeared to be jinxed. The first dissatisfied user of the Beretta M9 has come forward, and as ironic as it can get, the mishap happened with the U.S. Navy SEAL Team 6. This initial misfortune gave rise to a string of early detractions. When demonstrating the weapon to a dignitary in 1986, a member of SEAL Team 6 was injured. The pistol slide broke, striking him in the face. The SEALs started to favor the SIG P226 from that point. After a long period of service, the M9 gets an upgrade. As the remainder of the U.S. military continued to utilize the M9, most notably in Operation Desert Storm and the War on Terror in Iraq and Afghanistan, Beretta adapted even more by upgrading the M9 to the M9A1 in 2006 with a rail system for accessories, a better magazine well, and a new coating for arid and dusty settings. Beretta responded positively to critics. Additionally, the M9 was adopted by a number of domestic law enforcement organizations such as the Los Angeles Police Department and the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, and as a result, it developed a stellar reputation for accuracy and dependability. Some customers claimed that despite the advancements, the M9A1 still had flaws. The grip of the pistol, which was hefty, was too small to accommodate all hand sizes. It lacked the 45 ACP round from the M1911 stopping power. The SIG M17 slash M18, on the other hand, does better in terms of caliber. But were these issues significant enough to justify a new handgun competition that gave rise to the SIG M17 slash M18? And does the U.S. military even really need a new sidearm? The American Security Project think tanks defense analysts consider this to be an instance of government waste. They said in a report that brand new firearms are not always required for warfare. According to the Policy Institute, they are last-ditch weapons that frequently fail to change the course of a war since they are not as frequently deployed as rifles. Pistols do not create revolutionary changes in tactics. The American Security Project responded to critics who worried about stopping power by stating that this could be resolved with better marksmanship instruction. Additionally, shoddy maintenance may be the cause of the reliability concerns. In a debate in which either competing gun holds no real appreciable advantage over the other, it all just boiled down to the adage, familiarity builds contempt, or this is old but it is good, being countered with this is new therefore it is better. However, the M9 was indeed also growing old, no surprise in that. As the military shifted to conventional combat against great power adversaries, it was time for a change. Better weaponry results frequently from competition. Early concerns with the Sig Sauer M17 slash M18 included unexplained accidental discharges from its base civilian model, the P320. But the maker claims these problems have been resolved. Many people think it's time the military switched to a new firearm. The U.S. government may have officially retired the Beretta M9, yet both military and civilian personnel who have used it still stand by the fact that the M9 is one of the best pistols ever manufactured. And that's all for this video. If you feel like you can add more to this video subject, let me know by commenting down below. Please click on the like, share, and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you in the next video.